good afternoon and welcome to another tutorial from Version 3 Technology. I'm Damien, I'm going to take you through this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install RASP BMC and a Raylink based Wi-Fi dongle on your Raspberry Pi using the Macintosh. So we'll start by um, inserting the SD card. You can see mine is already inserted so I'll just highlight that for you and Command Shift U for utilities, open a terminal window, shut down the folder, and we need to type in here C U R L space minus capital O H T T P colon forward slash forward slash S V N dot S T M Labs L-A-B-S dot com forward slash S-V-N forward slash RASP BMC forward slash testing forward slash installers forward slash Python forward slash install dot P-Y long URL. Enter that in and then you need to give it the correct permissions to chmod plus x space install dot py enter and then we're going to install it with sudo python space install dot py enter password and your card should already be installed, so just enter again through here. And now you've got a list of your disks connected to your Macintosh right now. There you go, you can see which one mine is, it's that bottom one because it's the smallest of four gig cards. So I'm going to ignore the fact I've got partitions on it. I'm just going to type in here disk four because I'm going to use the whole card. So disk four and that will write to the whole card. Now it's going to ask me to, to agree, so yes, and then for me it's going to ask me to say yes again because I'd already downloaded it previous, so it probably won't ask you guys, but give it some time, this will take a little bit of time. I'm going to fast forward this bit, and there we are. So next thing we need to do is go over to the Raspberry Pi, we're going to insert the SD card, I'm going to connect a keyboard and just a keyboard, and you're going to see on the screen in a minute an image of the Raspberry Pi, there we go. So allow this to boot up. It will take a while. I'm just going to show you a few of the screens that come up while this is installing itself. The process does take nearly 25 minutes, so you're going to get a few messages now. You won't see all of mine because I've skipped through some of them, but you'll get to you'll see some of them. And, and while this is going on, I'm going to quickly just credit um, what I'll do is actually credit him in the de description of the video the link to the blog where I got these instructions for installing the Wi-Fi from because I didn't work this out myself this is this is someone else's uh, instructions albeit I've had to to mess around with it to make it work for me um, and I'm hoping that that's going to work for you guys as well and this will only work with Raylink based um, Wi-Fi dongles I, it, it probably won't work with anything else anyway there you go you can see it's installed and it's booted up so we get to this screen here and um, you can see that it's connected via Ethernet currently. We need to keep it connected via Ethernet in the beginning and then um, then we'll install the Wi-Fi dongle afterwards. So what I need you to do is come down to the standby here, click exit and it will come out to a little message. It take, takes a little bit of time sometimes, so just be patient. Hit escape. Right, now we're going to move back over to the Mac. Right, guys, we're back. So we're going to command shift U for utilities, open a terminal window, and we're going to start this process. So we need to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. So SSH, PI at your IP address that the Raspberry Pi is on. Mine is 
then type in yes here to accept the RSA key fingerprint put the password in which is raspberry r-a-s-p-b-e-r-r-y raspberry now there's the original setup I'm going to skip through this a little bit it takes a little bit longer than than this so find your language for me in the UK it's going to be en gb all right and stick to the utf all right so you see them on there engb utf enter twice i think and then obviously for me it's europe and then london as the capital city although i'm not in london but the uk is pretty small and there we go right so the first thing we need to do is um, start by sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list we're going to edit the sources list so tab down with the arrow key below that line deb space http colon forward slash forward slash ftp full stop uk full stop debian full stop dot oh, it's dot org forward slash debian forward slash squeeze forward space main space non dash free not what I'm going on about full stop it's dot control o control x to write out to control o to write out control x to exit out of the nano editor so then sudo space apt dash get space update this will take a little while as well i've skipped through this um, ignore those errors that's fine so sudo space apt dash get space install space firmware dash Raylink. This is the actual driver. This will download the driver and install the driver, so it might take a little while. And guys, once you've done this, you can you can f throw in your uh, Wi-Fi dongle into the Raspberry Pi above your keyboard USB or wherever you've done it. I've purposely did it with a keyboard so I could leave one USB free. I'm going to type in here NMCLI space dev space Wi-Fi space list. That will list the Routers on my in current range of my Raspberry Pi, as you can tell, mine's version free. So, the next stage is sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash network forward slash interfaces. I'm going to edit the interfaces file or create the interfaces file effectively because there's nothing in it. So, auto space YLAN zero, it's a zero, not an O iface space ylan 0 space inet space dhcp and a down line wpa dash conf space forward slash etc forward slash wpa dot conf enter down the line control o to write out the file enter Control X to exit. And back we go again. So sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash wpa dot conf. Enter in the nano editor. Let's add some detail now. Be very careful with this detail. Make sure you get this 100% spot on. Network equals open curly bracket enter down the line ssid equals open quote your router name mine was version 3 remember closing quote enter down the line proto equals capital r s n enter down the line key underscore m g m t equals capital WPA dash PSK enter 
pair wise equals capital CCMP space TK IP enter group equals capital CCMP space TK IP enter PSK equals opening quote and the password of your router and I've created this password especially for this tutorial so don't try hacking my Wi-Fi closing quote enter and closing curly bracket control command control O enter control X out of the, the nano editor <laughs> right so sudo if down space YLAN zero all right, you'll, if you get the same as me, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. I'm just doing this. For, I was just doing this for testing purposes. So sudo space if up space YLAN zero and bam. If you get this issue the same as I did, where it couldn't find a lease, it couldn't connect. Then what we're going to do is we need to reboot, or I think we need to reboot. I mean, I just did this test and it worked for me. So let's sudo space reboot keep the ethernet connected as well okay so just reboot the device okay mine's back up so obviously I've skipped that will take a little bit longer so SSH back in so SSH space PI at 192.168.0.9 for me yes again and then the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. And let's go again. So type in N-M-C-L-I, dev. Let's just see if both devices are there. They're both there. So N-M-C-L-I, space, D-E-V, space, Wi-Fi, space, list. I'm just going to check if my route is showing, which it isn't. Um, now... I took my keyboard out at this point because I thought it was hogging my the USB power. So just just go through this process with me. sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash wifi dot sh and we're going to do this so that whenever we reboot it should automatically connect to the Wi-Fi. So in here it's Command three, sorry, Alt three for the hashtag, exclamation mark forward slash bin forward slash bash. Enter down the line, then sudo space if down space YLAN zero. Next line is sudo space if up space YLAN zero. Control O, Control O to write out. Enter. Control X to get out. Right now, sudo ch mod space plus x space forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash wi fi dot sh. And sudo space update dash rc dot d space wifi dot sh space defaults spell it correctly though unlike me defaults 100 should make it executable and basically I've just I checked the sudo nano because I had issues again with it with it connecting so it's sudo space if down space wireland zero and again I've got this message and then sudo space if up space one and zero and this time i've got it to connect so all was well in the end um hopefully you guys won't have as many issues as i did getting it connected and if you can get it connected first time then you can carry on with the um last part you don't have to go through the, the first reboot so sudo reboot space reboot get it rebooted in and 
here we are in the RAS in the in the RAS BMC, and I'll just show you it's connected to Wi-Fi. You can see there the Pulse 8 SEC adapters come up, which means the it's recognised a dongle. I had pulled my Ethernet out at this point, unplugged it as it rebooted. I unplugged the Ethernet. You guys can do that. And here you go. I'll show you it controlling it over Wi-Fi with the iOS app for XPMC, which is very handy. There you go. You can see it working. Once again, guys, I want to credit the original blog post for getting the Wi-Fi working. So I will put that in the description and I hope this helps you guys out getting your Wi-Fi working on your RASP MC media centers. Great for shoving behind the TV. And guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.